in a time where news and facts are either at a premium or totally disregarded, companies like Primer that are trying to make sense of the world around them and, and repackage it in something that's consumable um, are, uh, I think, doing some pretty interesting, valuable stuff in the world. Wow. All right, well, I'd like to welcome uh, Ben Van Roo from Primer AI. He's the VP of Solutions Architecture. Ben, thanks for joining us at our Staying Human interview series here at the AI Summit in San Francisco. Thanks for having me, Bill. Oh, so tell me a little bit about Primer. Like, wh what it, what is, what's the gist of it, and why should I be super excited? So uh, Primer is uh, a natural language processing, natural language understanding, natural language generation company. So that's, there's, that's, that's a lot kind of, of it. Kind yeah, kind of a mouthful. <laughs> so what we say is, in, in, to, you know, like any good small company, we have a very ambitious uh, tagline. Uh, we say that we build machines that read and write. Uh, our objective is to accelerate the understanding of the world around us. And so, so what does that mean? So uh, imagine you have large corpuses of information, unstructured text. Um, you you want to search through that text. You know, if it's, it's on the public web, you're going to do a Google search and you're going to get thousands of articles. So we take the corpuses of information and we rip them apart and then we reassemble them. A lot of NLP algorithms that are working uh, to in, together to understand the major entities, the people, the locations, the events that happen. What is this corpus about? Now, uh, interesting use case, uh, someone recently asked me, uh, there's kind of a big discussion around how many people actually died in Puerto Rico during the hurricane. Okay, uh, very timely use case. Timely right? and sad, right? Yeah. Um, you could look at this and try to backfill all of the publications that came out I wrote a query, hit go, in about three minutes, I had every single death toll count that was publicly released in the news and could reassemble it. And oh, so wow. um, it, it's in a time where news and facts are either at a premium or totally disregarded. Um, companies like Primer that are trying to make sense of the world around them and, and repackage it in something that's consumable um, are, uh, I, I think, doing some pretty interesting, valuable stuff in the world. Wow. To be able to have knowledge bases that can create and then update themselves is a pretty cool thing that a company like Primer is doing. So maybe because I'm always thinking about like the dual use concerns of technology, I'm jumping right to the nefarious kind of practices that are potentially sure. available. But how are you um, enabling your system or make, basically safeguarding your system so it can't be gamed against itself? Yeah, that's, um, there, that's an interesting question. Um, there's, uh, going back to the news, there's some really interesting things that we're trying to do to look at, identify sources that um, may have very opposing views. So in the United States, let's take Breitbart and Huffington Post. Mm -hmm. Very different political spectrums are going to cover uh, the same event very differently. And so uh, the, what's interesting now, that w the things that we're doing with natural language processing, natural language generation, is ripping apart the way that people are talking in specific sources, um, and then saying, this is a particular event, what is the lens that different people have on that event? Mm -hmm. And so, well, we're, not, we're not in the business that I think, in some cases, Facebook um, and Twitter are getting into, where they're really starting to heavily moderate. Um, but what we are trying to say is, given particular sources, the United States perspective of the world on something that happened versus Russia's media, um, we can basically provide that lens of how are they talking about this event and so people can look at how narratives are forming across the world. 